There may be more fallout from the FCC's decision to repeal net neutrality rules. It all stems from this video featuring the commission's chairman defending that decision. Listen. All right, so not only uh, was the Harlem Shake craze so 2013, but its creators are also threatening to sue over the video. The DJ behind the song tweeted, I'm taking action, whatever I can, to stop this loser. And the record company behind the, the song has issued a takedown for the video. I do love that song, and it may have yeah. ruined it for me. Anger over that video, like all kidding aside, it pales in comparison to the anger over the FCC's decision to scrap net neutrality rules which banned internet providers from blocking or restricting access to specific content. With us now is one of the FCC's commissioners, Mignon Clyburn, who voted against repealing net neutrality rules. Commissioner Clyburn, thank you for being with us. Uh, ultimately, this went down on uh, along party lines. It was fully expected, but yes. we're trying to get uh, I, I'm try, I've been struggling to get a, a sort yes. of a big picture sense of what the unintended consequences of this may be because I'm prepared to take certain companies at their word that they're not intending to throttle back services and they're not intending to favor some services over others. But by repealing the net neutrality law, um, what, ha what remains is the need for a, a, an internet service provider like our parent company Comcast yes. to put out on a website if they are allowing uh, services services to have faster or slower access if they're throttling back, which means it clearly isn't against the law if the requirement is going to be that they have to tell people they're doing it. Right, and all we said that you have to, all you have to do is disclose. Correct. And there will be a few, if any, restrictions. And we have taken ourselves out of the game. We have pulled our own teeth at the FCC, so we're toothless, we're powerless. If they disclose, then they can block. They can slow down. Uh, they can prefer traffic uh, or websites or applications over the other. And when they say they have no incentive to do so, I say pass this prologue. These companies have indeed slow down completing traffic, blocked uh, competing voice services. They've done so in the past if they've had business interests. Um, they have shown preference to their interests over competitors uh, who are attempting to thrive online. And that's what's at stake. It's more than just voting with party lines. Help us understand who is it that wants this? Who are the Republicans? We know, obviously, that Ajit Pai, uh, your colleague, wants this. But yes. what is the argument they, or who are the people making the argument that this will be good for the American people? Because I can't seem to find it. We passed strong net, net neutrality rules back in 2015. And there were tens of millions of dollars of lobbyist money from the larger internet service providers to fight it. Now, it, luckily, uh, we passed it by a three to two vote, and we said the consumer, you, not your internet service provider, uh, not some uh, business that has a, a competing uh, interest from you, you are the one that's to control your experiences over the internet. And not only that, we said that the FCC, the agency that is an expert when it comes to communications will be that cop on the beat, the one that will protect you. We answered two questions on yesterday. Number one, we said the broadband service provider, not you, will be in charge of your online experience. And two, we punted. We said the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, will be the one that will protect you. But what we didn't tell you is the FCC does not have real clear authority, and the FTC can only have, help you after a harm is done. So if you can prove that it's unfair or deceptive, then the FTC can protect you. But it's not deceptive if I've disclosed. And who knows what the definition of fair will be going forward. Mm -hmm. Given what a huge role the internet plays at this point in all of our lives, yes. have you asked FCC Chairman Aji Pai about that video he made for the Daily Caller? Yes, uh, you're seeing the DJ for the Harlem Shake uh, take legal action, but even in that video, He's in that video with a woman who's involved with spreading the Pizzagate conspiracy. And this is the man who is the chairman of the FCC. Have you had a conversation with him about it? I have not. I saw the still, but I only saw the video this morning. I will just say this. Um, he has the freedom to express himself, number one. And I wish I were as happy as I see him in that video. I am not happy because I know the consumers that want, expect um, openness and inclusiveness over the Internet, those who are trying to 
have business models that are dependent on an open and mm -hmm. online experience, they are at risk now. In a couple of months when all of these rules go into effect, because it's going to take a few months for all of them to go into effect, small business owners who are trying to make a living online, individuals who are trying to get information or services, they will not be assured that the applications and the services that they're, they're trying to have access to, that they would not be blocked or slowed down. And that in and of, of itself, with small businesses being the backbone of our economy yeah. that are dependent on an open and fair internet experience, they will be at risk. So the issue is that the companies, if we go into a world where companies can pay for a fast lane, basically, or somehow subsidize it so that there's a slow lane and, and, and a fast lane, the ones that can pay for it, the biggest companies in the yes. in the internet space right now, were all mom and pops. They were all small businesses. They started yes. with students or in garages yes. or things like that. And some of the fears are that we may be freezing the internet in time. In other words, you won't be able to be a Facebook competitor one day or a Netflix competitor because the real Netflix and the real Facebook will be able to pay to be in the fast lane. They'll be able to subsidize uh, maybe a cheaper um, uh, internet package for you. But a lot of the critics of net neutrality are saying all of you need to take a breath and calm down. You're hyperventilating about something that nobody has any proof is actually going to happen. What's your response to them? Well, my thing is your internet service provider today does not look at like your internet service provider 10 or 12 years ago. They have content. They actually own media companies. They have all of these side businesses that there are lots of people who are dependent uh, on their business models being able to thrive online, might be competing with these very same internet service providers. The fear is they will give preference, show favoritism to their business interests, and my interests, my.com, will be left in the dust. And so in 2015, we leveled the playing field. We said you cannot prefer your traffic over others. Now all you have to do is put it in a small print in paragraph 25 and you will be able to do what you want. You will be able to control my experiences, you meaning the internet service provider, and I have to hope for the best. And you there's no agency the that, will, um, that will stop it. Right, and, and 10 years ago you didn't have to hope for the best. You knew that you had the same access to the internet if you wanted to start a dot com that everybody but, had. Ali, we because also, we had those rules in place, yep, yep. absolutely. And also 10 years ago the internet played a much different the, role in correct, our life. Correct. People yes. now consider the internet to be a utility. 10 years ago it wasn't. It was an extra. Uh, we, Mignon Clyburn, thank you for joining us. We appreciate the conversation. Thank you. Mignon My Clyburn pleasure. is an FCC Commissioner. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.